What's going on Guardians? Today I'm going to be talking about Destiny vs Overwatch. Why? When they're totally different games? Because it's fun to compare things. So you shouldn't take it seriously and it's mostly an opinion piece. So, basically, what I want to try and answer today is if you play Destiny, should you be interested in Overwatch? The short answer is maybe, if you're like me because Destiny and Overwatch are so polar opposites that they actually complement each other in a way. So why don't we get started? First, I want to talk about the menu differences. See, Destiny's UI is super simplistic, very easy to read. I'm talking mostly about just navigating the menus. It's just very clear cut. Overwatch, at first, appears clear cut, but then you realize that it's probably geared more towards PC gamers so it's not as console friendly for instance let's say you're paired up with a friend and then two of your friends are paired up in opposite groups and you want to bring those two groups together to make a total of four instead of the option to send an invite to that person to the group or to those people you have to request an invite to that group now when that notification comes up on their screen when you send a request to them it it basically gives you the option to confirm whether you want them in your group or not by pressing Y for yes and N for no, which is impossible on a console. When you start navigating through your friends list via the Overwatch menus to start inviting people to your group, um, it's very difficult to tell which friend is highlighted. You have to like either wave back and forth between friends to see the actual highlight rectangle around the name or um, just select whatever name it's on and then just read who you selected, which is, again, just not very intuitive, not very console friendly. Uh, one of the big things I noticed uh, about Overwatch is there is absolutely no radar whatsoever, no, no map, no anything. And uh, I thought this was gonna be an issue for me, but I actually ended up really liking it because they highlight enemy players in red, so, even if they're on your peripherals, you'll, you'll pick them up. And the graphics are so simplistic that it's easy to pick anybody out. You don't need a radar. And it helps people legitimately flank. Some characters are built for flanking and they can't have like a radar like Destiny, otherwise it would never work. Speaking of characters, see in Destiny, they focus on just select few characters that you put a lot of investment in. We're talking leveling, weapons, gear, skill. There's a lot of investment into one character. A lot of focus on one character. In Overwatch, it's the total opposite. You do not unlock anything for your characters other than cosmetics like skins or voice. But you, whatever you pick, that's their loadout. There's no, um, there's, you can't change weapons. You can't change perks on or abilities. You just select the character and they do what they do. That's it. Which I actually kind of like because um, when you see, say, a tracer on the map, you know exactly what she's going to do, what she, what she's capable of, and w what her strengths are and what her weaknesses are, with just by looking at her. Um, and Destiny's a little more difficult. Um, if you see a Titan, you don't necessarily know off the bat just by looking at him if he's running Striker, unless he shoulder charges you, or what other what kind of grenades he's using how, how, what his loadout is whether you know unless you peek at his menu or try to look at what's in his hands you don't know if he's running a shotgun or a sniper it does take a second to realize what your enemy's strengths are whereas overwatch the characters have very specific roles like when you see a reinhardt with a shield you know what he can and cannot do and one of the things you should not do is go up to him i really like the end game differences in overwatch Right off the bat, um, Overwatch is heading straight for com the competitive scene. Right off the bat, which I wish Destiny would have, but I know they got a lot of work to do before they even get to that level of competitiveness. But um, I, I like the end game numbers in Overwatch. They, sh they, they reward everyone for everything. How much damage they blocked, how much they healed, not just the amount of kills. Now, they may not get the player highlight, player highlights usually go towards uh, ultimate kills or multi-kills 
but the game will notice how much they've done in their role. So something like if you choose a character like Mercy, where 90% of the time you're going to be healing and buffing your team, if you're playing her right, that is, then um, you will be, re if you beat like your own personal record or the average healing in one game, they take note of that. And that appears at the end game. And I, and I like that. And the player highlight at the end of the game is super cool. I mean, they play this heroic epic music so you feel good about yourself and everyone sees it. I mean, imagine if that was in Destiny. At the end of the match, the game just chose a random multi-kill highlight that everyone had to watch. So if you were at the end of that, uh, that would be pretty frustrating. So right from the door, Blizzard is saying Overwatch is going esports. From the door. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. Again, I kind of would like to see uh, Destiny do that, but again, it's going to take a lot of work. One of those things is um, FPS or frames. See, when it comes to Destiny 2, I've been always the type of person that, you know, I'd rather get a bigger world and keep it at 30 frames rather than boost it up to 60 frames and keep the world around the same size or even smaller, depending on their engine's power. Uh, but after playing Overwatch and getting into the competitive scene, I really want Destiny to be 60 FPS now. I mean, it was really weird coming back to Destiny's graphics. I mean, I spent 37 hours in Overwatch. 37 hours, that's one week in the beta, 37 hours. So you definitely notice a difference in 30 FPS when you come back to it. I think the biggest difference between Overwatch and Destiny are the balance differences. I'm just gonna come out and say it very boldly that I believe that Overwatch is the most balanced first person shooter I have ever played. Now, definitely needs some work. I feel it needs a few tweaks, but I've never seen a shooter so close to just that type of balance. I, I didn't think it was possible, honestly. I mean, you can make arguments for Battlefield and whatnot, but um, as balanced as something like you may feel Battlefield is or Call of Duty for whatever reason, um, try Overwatch and you'll see what I mean when it comes to just everything just feels fair. And I'm not talking about Bastion. <laughs> if you played Overwatch, you know what I'm talking about when it comes to Bastion. Um, but it's just so close to that really balanced game. Destiny has always had issues with balance. We all know that. Now, it's not entirely their fault because what Destiny is trying to do is extremely difficult and ambitious, near impossible, which is they are trying to combine PvE and PvP loot. See, in the, in the, in the few MMOs that I played, they usually have separate gear and separate weapons for PvE and PvP. Why? Because uh, you come up with a lot of overpowered issues come up with a lot of balancing issues when you just mix them together because you don't want the pve part to be boring and weak but the pvp has to be balanced because you're going against other real players that's a very tough thing to balance and, and i think they're doing it better than anyone else could but they still are a long way off from being perfectly balanced maybe they never will be I don't know, maybe they do have to go the route of having separate PvP gear and not even allow the PvE stuff. That way the PvE stuff can be stronger. I don't know. But they are doing something extremely difficult. But I understand why, because, I mean, as Destiny players, we like the ability to take our Warlocks, our Titans, our Hunters, switch around a couple of things and we're ready to run a raid switch around a couple other things and we're ready for trials of osiris the most competitive pvp mode in the game if we had separate gear and weapons solely for pvp and pve um it might be annoying to constantly switch between them unless you know we had uh, some kind of armories or some kind of gear loadouts so we can just hit one button and just equip everything at once that'd be pretty cool i mean kind of need that now anyways but definitely for going for uh, separate armors to balance things out. Then we have map design. As beautiful as Destiny's maps are, I get stuck on a lot of stuff. <laughs> if I'm in a gunfight and I'm, it's not going well and I decide to back out, I, I usually get stuck on something. 
and it's usually something small in the environment that's sticking out and that's pretty frustrating to me um, that really didn't happen all too often or at all in Overwatch because it's just a lot simpler map design very clear-cut boundaries clear-cut colors and when you're looking for a very competitive scene like that that's what you need that's extremely important. You don't want the match to be... Like, who wants the, the match to be dictated by a rock that you didn't see, that you trip over, and you can't exit out of an engagement because of that little rock? We don't need that. That's another thing. Um, connections. Now, the Overwatch beta did crash on me a handful of times. But when it was running, uh, I experienced lag once that entire week in the beta 37 hours only one experience with lag and that was pretty refreshing compared to destiny's lag issues um again you can't be in a competitive scene if the winning move depends on if your sniper rifle connects to someone's head or not it can't be that way if you want to be competitive so um i decided to pick up overwatch myself because i was looking for a shooter that I didn't have to invest too much time in unless I chose to. Something very casual that I can just get on, play a few rounds, and then get off without any real high investment. Destiny is my high investment game. I don't need another one. So Overwatch kind of fits the bill, in a way. It's a lot more team dependent than I thought. Now there are some players that are um, overall good. They're kind of a little bit good at everything. That's mostly Soldier 76. But there's a couple that you can, you know, handle yourself for the most part without much teamwork. But um, it is really team dependent. I mean, you can just run over another team. It doesn't matter, like, if you have like a Reinhardt and a Bastion and a Mercy, that's enough to run over the opposing team if they're not coordinated. If they're not coordinated, that'll win. That'll win most modes, just those three. And they're, and they're working together. So it's really team dependent, which is not a bad thing. It takes away a little bit of the casualness that I was looking for, but in no way is it a bad thing that it's really team dependent because I, I really like how there's a counter for everything. Even Bastion has a bunch of counters for everything that people just haven't realized yet. If you've played the beta, you know how frustrating Bastion is, but there's counters like Genji's deflect ability, which is my favorite, because they don't realize they're sh basically shooting themselves. Then you have Roadhog's uh, hook that directly snatches Bastion out of his form, which is great if Bastion is in a corner and you have difficulty getting behind him. Just get a Roadhog to snatch him out of the corner. Um, you also have uh, Widowmaker and Hanzo, the snipers. Widowmaker hits a little bit harder. Um, but Hanzo can get a little bit closer if he needs to. Uh, Widowmaker can two-shot Bastion if she gets up high and sneaks up on him. She can two-shot him. Hanzo is about three or four. So there are counters to Bastion. I still think his time to kill is a little too fast. I mean, it's a little crazy. But there are counters to him nonetheless. And that's like that for every... A Tracer? If you have... If there's a Tracer, let's say there's a team of Tracers and they're annoying the crap out of you. Don't think like, oh, a, a team full of tracers is OP. That's the thing about this game is they allow you to change heroes every time you respawn. Or if you manage to go back to your home base, you could do that, but nobody really does that. It's, it's counterproductive. But every time you respawn, you spawn at home base and you can switch out heroes. And then you can directly choose counters to tracer, which you can learn over time. You'll learn that Winston's are good for countering Tracer because of his gun and his health pool. Junkrat is also a good uh, counter for Tracer because he leaves bear traps that she gets caught in and she can't do anything about it. McCree is a, is a good uh, counter. He has the flashbang. Now she can recall out of that, but she only gets one of those. So I really like how there's counters to everything. Um, Destiny's focus isn't so much on counters, but knowing your character to play it well enough play whatever style you're choosing you know you got a shotgun on a striker titan with shoulder charge you're gonna be an up-close person you know but you can cater that to you know 
sniping if you like. I think Hunter's perks are a little more catered to sniping than Titans, such as Blink and Shade Step, Keen Scout, which is a literal wall hack. But, but yeah, it's, it's not so much focused on countering other people because you can't switch out your characters in the middle of the match. You can switch your loadouts, you can switch your perks, your, your class perks, but you can't switch out from a Hunter to a, to a Titan or vice versa if if the team requires one of those in the middle of a match. It's just, it's just not built for that. I know this is a bit of a rant, but if, if you are like me and you play a lot of Destiny and you're looking for something different, not something to take you away from Destiny, but something different to that'll scratch that itch that Destiny scratches, but without all the other stuff of like loot grinding, and keeping up with your character, any other issues you might have, um, then I highly recommend checking out Overwatch. It may be what you're looking for, like it was for me. Now there's one last thing I need to bring up in comparison with Overwatch and Destiny, and that is custom games. Overwatch isn't even out yet, and it allows for custom games with multiple options. You can lock out characters, you can select specific maps, you can select headshots only, you can select the rate at which uh, cooldowns are affected, you can even add AI if you need to. It just boggles my mind that Overwatch is in beta and about to come out and it already has custom games, whereas Destiny has been released almost two years and we still don't have custom games. I mean, there's so much fun. You could set up certain specific guns, specific classes. You can test guns out that you just got to see if you like them or not without going into an actual match. You could set up tournaments legitimate tournaments without this you know background like queuing up at the same time and hopefully you get matched up type of stuff like it is just frustrating how how that's not on the table yet and i know we just gotta wait for like destiny 2 but i really feel like this should have been here by now a long time ago well that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to share like and subscribe to my channel for more destiny and a bit of Overwatch content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. A war, but it's a good start. Good work.